and girls, babies in your diapers, welcome to the Tiberius Show with your host, Tiberius Foy. That's me, Tiberius. Today we are going to talk about some very awesome stuff. We have a cool video game to talk about, a wonderful book about confidence, my balloon score report, and we got a totally awesome guest. The one, the only, Layla! (laughs) Layla and I have known each other since summer camp before kindergarten. Thank you, Layla, for being on my show. You're welcome. (laughs) Today we're going to start off with the video game of the week, and this is going to be a cool one. Right, Layla? Yes. And now it's time for the Video Game of the Week. Today's video game is Centipede. This game is one of the first games my dad has ever showed me. But I really don't remember. But then my dad showed me a photo of me as a baby trying to play it on a stand-up arcade machine. Well, he was holding me over the game, and I was just mashing buttons and moving the trackball. So I guess that counts as playing, right, Layla? Yes. So this game is from 1981, and you are a little guy at the bottom of the screen. You get to control him with the trackball and shoot with a fire button. The screen is full of mushrooms, and a centipede starts to travel down the screen left and right. Each time it hits a mushroom, it gets closer and moves the opposite direction. You can shoot anything in the game. So if you shoot the mushrooms, it will take longer for the centipede to change direction and move towards you. You can shoot spiders and fleas as well, but when, but when you hit the centipede, things are different. So if you hit the centipede in the head, it will make a new head behind him. If you hit him in the body, he will split in two and have another head. So now you have two centipedes going down in there faster. So you really want to hit the centipede in the head over and over again. My dad says on the higher levels there are scorpions that poison the mushrooms. When a centipede hits it, they go crazy and go straight down at the bottom of the screen where I am. You have to shoot all of the centipede parts, and then you have to go to the next level with a brand new centipede that is slight faster than the last one. I give centipede 10 out of 10 stars. Not only is it fun to play, but I get to use the trackball, and that is fun. Everyone that is older seems to know about the game. I think you got past a few levels. The Type U Show would like to thank one of our dedicated sponsors, Custom Designs Orlando. These guys are on Mills Avenue and do all sorts of stuff, ranging from photo ID badges, engraved signs, custom Grail ADA signs, vinyl littering, to trophies and awards. They can ship products all over the United States. You can reach them at 407-898-0373. Over 40 years, Playhouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking out clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties, contact White House Central Florida at 407-898-2483 or visit them online at lighthousecfl.org. The Tidebeard Show would like to thank one of our awesome sponsors, SlotChannelUS.com These guys are very, very cool. They bring 21st century surface drainage solutions to reality. They can do corporate and government work. These are the guys that make roads and bridges safe in the rain. You can see all about them at SlotChannelUS.com That website again is SlotChannelUS.com And now we're all ready for the Book of the Week. And now it's time for the Book of the Week. Now I have time to load the lash out with heart. This book was written by Julie Wick. Let me read you the back of the book. In fact, Layla, would you do the honor? Of course. (laughs) 
In the Books of Six series, Art with Heart, Lily the Lash finds herself right in the center of Gallery Gables, where a young pencil's self-assurance is lost. Leading to feelings of jealousy and unacceptable behavior, Lily, only ever seen by the reader, sends the most enchanting boy to demonstration how to interpret and regain the essence of confidence. So the story is about Lily the Lash. She's an eyelash that sees everything that goes on around her. She tries to help others see things that will help them on their journey of life. This time she sees Pebble D. Pencil, who is competing in an art contest. She's upset because Bellamy Brush wins most of the time. As a pencil, she can only make one color, and the brush can make lots of colors. But the other friends say... The Bellamy Brush's artwork earned the position of winning a lot. So out of fear, so out of fear of failing, Pibble D Pencil damaged the artwork of Bellamy Brush before the contest. Everyone knew that Pibble D Pencil had done had done it, and she was embarrassed how she behaved. Lily sends Giddy to explain that being a black and white drawing is just perfect just the way he was made. Pepper regained her confidence and faced Bellamy and said she was sorry and asked what she could do to help. To, like, help. I think all second and third graders should read this book. This book talks about having confidence and building up others around you and letting them know you can do it. My mom and dad work with me always to have confidence in myself. Otherwise, how would I be able to do the radio show? This is a cool book because it is part of the 15 book series. I give this book 10 out of 10 stars. This is not just a book, but it also but it also has extra fun facts at the end of the book, as well as lots of worksheets and fun projects on the Lily the Lash website. I also got to meet the author, Mrs. Julie, and she signed my book and left me a special note. And Layla, would you open the book and show the listeners? It's at the front. It says, To Tiberius. When we have confidence, we feel really good when we, when we feel really good. You can do amazing things. Make it happen. November 2018. Yahoo! Now it's time for the interview of an interested person. Today's guest is going to be a lot of fun. Layla is a second grader at the Christ School and my girlfriend. I am so excited to be able to interview you. So first off, how are you enjoying being on the show? It's great being on the show. I really like it. So like, out of one out of ten, how much do you give the radio show? Honestly, I give it a ten. That is amazing. So, what is the best part about being a student at the Christ School? I like being at the Christ School and a student. It's because I get to see all my friends. They're really nice to me. So, what are their names? I have so many friends, I can't even name them all. So, what is your favorite subject in school? Mine is science because we get to do a magnet project. What is the best part about having science? Um, doing the magnet project and figuring out things that are magnetic. You know, later we're going to have a real science class? Really? Seriously? In 6th and 7th thing in 8th grade. Seriously? Oh, what is the best part about how? So, what is the best part about magnets? That it could stick to metal. Hmm. Like cobalt? Yeah. Iron? Yeah. Everything that cobalt is. Exactly. Like nickel and iron and stuff. So, when you were not in school, what is your favorite thing to do? I would like to actually do crafts. And one of my crafts is actually making a snowman. Do you have snow? Nope. 
<laughs> oh, well, how do you make a snowman? I use this Snow. foam and I round it into the ball oh. and then I use a toothpick to stick it together and then use the little paper. Yeah, that's neat. So pretty much what I did to make Olaf, um, we actually made an Olaf at the convention center and uh, we got our supplies and actually we got to eat Olaf when we're done. When we were done. The supplies were um, pretzels, dog pretzels, a stick and some marshmallows. A huge one, then a medium one, then a small one. Um, also some chocolate chips. Ooh. And some my edible glue. So we could like glue onto the snowman. You know? And also we got like a candy corn for the nose. Also, do you like candy corns? I love them. Me too. So what else do you do for fun? I also go outside on the porch and I pretend I'm Rapunzel. <laughs> so like, is it because you have long hair? No, I make it out of yarn. Ooh. What kind of yarn? I use orange yarn that's really thick. Why Rapunzel? Since that's only th that's the only thing I could have think of. Well, did you have any yellow yarn? No, cause her, cause her hair is yellow. All I could find is orange, since that was the closest that I had. Oh. Okay. So, do you play video games? What's your favorite one? Mine is obviously the puzzles. They're really cool and fun. Is it regular puzzles or on the computer? It's usually on the computer. Ooh, that's good. So, do you like board games? Of course. What kind of board games? Give me your top five. Monopoly. Monopoly. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, Pokemon Monopoly. Ooh, that's um, good. Candyland. Ooh, Candyland's a good one. Yeah. How about, there's two more, there's two more to like the top five. I, it's a really hard one, I can only give you three. Okay, okay. Do you wanna hear mine? Yeah. So my top five are like, um, um, my number one was the um, Star Wars Monopoly. I actually beat an adult with it. I actually beat like a real adult in the game. Did no, you beat your dad? No. Um, I actually beat my um, friend. Okay, okay, so what's your favorite book? My favorite book is Star of Del Tora. I haven't read that one. So what is it about? It's about this girl named Britta. She's sailing across the sea. And there's this king of Tyr. He's trying to get his daughter Britta. Ooh. Did he ever get her? Not yet. I haven't read the whole series. Oh, so there's a series. How many books? There's four books in total. So which so which one have you read? I've actually read three. There's The Shadow of the Master and Two Moons and The Towers of Ikola. Ooh, so you're on the last one? There's there's one more, but I have to read it the whole thing. Oh. So you're on book three or book four? I'm on book one. One? I thought you were, I thought you said on book three. You were on book three. You said <laughs> I still have to read all the books. Oh, so at the same time? Nope. So you should you do it by order? Yeah. But what if you don't make it to the fourth one? It gives me clues for the order. Oh. So which one was the order? I still haven't found out the last one, but I know it's two moons. Two Moons, Towers of Ikola, and Shadows of the Master then. What do you like about it? 
It's really cool because Britain gets to sail across the Silver Sea. Ooh. What's the Silver Sea? The Silver Sea is basically a random ocean, but it looks like it's actually silver. Ooh. So, like, one to ten, how silver is it? Like, it's, is it, like, shiny or not shiny? It's like a sparkly little one. So, it's shiny. So, that's ten. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> okay, so... So what other things do you do for fun? I watch TV. I usually watch Cookie Swirl C. Ooh. What is that one about? It's about this girl named Cookie, and she paints, reads, does fun stuff. Ooh. So, like, what channel is it on? YouTube. So it's on the YouTube channel. So I have a YouTube channel too. That's neat. It's called the Tiberius Show. Cool. And also we do like fun stuff like Teeth of Orlando. And I know like more than 2,000 people that have watched it for just only one minute. And pretty much, um, and, I, and we also did IAPA. We did... Uh, I have a first look, and then we did I have a second look, and we also did I have a third look. It was not only three days, but but the first one was part of two. It was, What's I have a? So I have a is so. Can I tell you what it stands for? Sure. International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. Cool. So, do you know what? There are three roller coasters inside that building. What? Yep. And actually, I got to go on one. Cool. And actually, it was a fun one. Nice. You got to go like, like forward, and then you got to go up, and then you got to go down fast, and then you got to go up again, and then you got to go down, down, down fast, and then you got to go near and do like a turn, sharp turn, then you just come back and then you do it all over again, like three times, and then and then you stop. And actually, I was lucky because that was the last ride. Wow. And I went to the Seawolves indoor soccer game. Cool. And you know I love soccer. I know. I'm really good at it. <laughs> oh, promise me. And I got to interview the goalie and the player and interview other people there. Cool, that's amazing. They even gave me a press pass. What did you say? They also gave me a press pass. What's a press pass? A press pass is that you can go as press. So I do kind of like journalism and we also got to go to the media room because I'm press. And I get, ask, and I get to ask questions to the players and all that stuff. Yeah, and even at the end, we got to hung, hang out uh, with all of them. Wow. And we got to interview all of them. Wow. Even the coach? Yep. And it was a real, I, I gave him a really hard question, but I gave him like, so which one do you like the best? And he said like, well, that's a very hard question. <laughs> and then like, and then like he said, do you have a brother or sister? And I say, no. <laughs> Because I really don't, because I'm the only child. <laughs> and pretty much he says, I love them both equally. And, and then he said, I love all my players equally. And that's how it is. Wow. Thank you so much for being my guest. Can you, just, can you stick around for mask orders? Sure. Midstate Fire has been providing top quality fire equipment services for three generations to the Central Florida area. Don't wait for an emergency to repair. Call Midstate Fire today at 407-246-8855. Get your fire extinguishers and emergency lighting for both your home and businesses by visiting www.midstatefire.com. That number again is 407-246-8855. 
The Tribeca Show would like to thank Boggy Creek Day of Old Adventures for being one of our sponsors. I got to go on an air belt and saw a real gator. I even got to go to the gem mine and mine for some gems. We ate a steak dinner at the restaurant and even got some gator rights. If you want to have a blast with the entire family, I suggest you go to www.bcairboats.com right now to get your tickets today. The website again is bcairboats.com. Oak Ridge Gun Range is a family-oriented shooting range that has been in business for over 30 years. They specialize in basic firearm training and offer numerous services such as consignments, gun trades, gunsmithing, and concealed weapon classes. I even got my training for gun safety at Oak Ridge Gun Range. Great customer service and firearm safety is what they do best. So find out more at OakRidgeGunRange.com. Get ready, it's time for the Bowling Score Report! I went to Skylines on Saturday and I played with Vanessa, Mia, and MJ. I bowled an 85, a 144, and a 120 in the final game. I got a turkey this weekend and it was so much fun. Hashtag gobble gobble. What's a turkey? So, if you get three strikes in a row, so, if you get two strikes in a row, it's a double. Do you know why it's called a turkey? No. Because actually, we actually named it a turkey because you don't really get it. So, you don't really get a real life turkey. So, is that a term that you use? Yes. I also beat MJ by three pins, so I was in first place overall. If you want to go bowling with me... Be sure to join me at the AMF Youth League Saturdays at AMF Skylines on OBT at 10 a.m. in the morning. Tiberius' favorite subject, it's Math Corners! Thank you, Layla, for helping me with Math Corners. You're welcome. Today we're going to talk about multiplying by 0 and 1. Now, this one is going to be a fun one. If you remember last week, we talked about multiplying by 2. Today, we're going to go backwards and talk about multiplying by 0 and 1. So first off, we are going to start with 0. Any number that you multiply by 0 is 0. Because if there is a 0 to of a certain number, you will still get have 0 in the, as the answer. So if you take 2 times 0, you get 0. And if you get 6 times 0, you get 0. If you get 0 times 5, you still get 0. Now, if you want to multiply it by 1, it is a bit different. But there is still a little trick to it. First off, any number times 1 equals that number. This is because you take a number once and you get that number. So if you take 2 times 1, you get 2. If you have 6 times 1, you get 6. If you do 1 times 5, you get 5. So Layla, do you know how to multiply by 0 and 1? Yes. So can you like give me some examples and test me? 5 million times 1. 5 million. Oh. <laughs> 1 million times 0. 0. Hmm. I can say 0 all day. <laughs> <laughs> One times zero. Zero. <laughs> Three times zero. Zero. <laughs> one million times one. One million. <laughs> I can say the same answer for the ones and I can just say zero all day. Okay, okay. I guess you know your multiplication. So I'm going to ask you some, right? Yeah. Two million times one. Two million. Two million times zero. Zero. Two hundred million times zero. Zero. And two hundred billion times zero. Zero. Looks like I can't trick you either, so you know your multiplication tables too. Next time that you might want to be on the show, 
We might do it times two and you can learn your twos. Thanks. Thank you so much, Layla, for your help with math corners. You're welcome. And now it's time for Heart of a Lion. We at the Tiberius Show like living with the heart of a lion. Living with the heart of a lion stands for leadership, integrity, obedience, and nobility. We asked Dr. Ferret exactly what that means. Leadership is really about influence. Leadership is, and the way we define it is good leadership, is about setting the right example and encouraging other people to do the right thing. Integrity is about doing right no matter what. Through life there are a lot of different circumstances that arise, and integrity, someone who shows integrity, it doesn't matter what all the external things are, they always choose to do what is right. Obedience is about obeying those who are in authority over you, whether that's a teacher, a boss, a parent, that when you were asked to do something, that you respond with obedience quickly and completely. Nobility is about having respect. It's about carrying yourself with respect and showing respect to others. When you put these four things together, that's Lion Strong. As you know, we talk about the qualities of living by the heart of a lion, which stands for leadership, integrity, obedience, and nobility. This week, we are going to talk about, well, um, because I have Layla with me, and I wanted to review them all and, and what they mean to us. So first off, is leadership. For me, I think leadership is to strive to accomplish more than just the minimum. I have tasks to do in order to watch videos on my computer. Sometimes I will do more than just the minimum task and even get to stay up. Lila, how about you? What do you like about leadership? I like that, I have, that you have to be like a leader. Next, we talk about integrity. For me, I think integrity is admitting my mistakes and taking responsibility for them. I try hard to not to make mistakes, but when I do, I ask for forgiveness and admit what I did incorrectly. Layla, how about you? What do you like about integrity? I also like to try not to make mistakes. Next, we talk about obedience. So, for me, I think obedience is following instructions willingly and thoroughly. I have to remember not to complain about a task received or or I am not being obedient. Layla, what do you like about obedience? I like about obedience since I've not only been on obedience, but that you have to follow instructions and be good. Yes. So our last one is nobility. For me, that is the willingness to extend forgiveness to others. It's hard to say you are sorry for something you did wrong. It is also hard to have something wrong happen to you and forgive them without having a fit. Layla, how about you Layla? What do you like about nobility? I like about nobility since it's really complicated though, but it's also very easy to do things. So, of all the Lion Strong virtues, which is your favorite? Mine is is obedience. <laughs> Mine too. Because I still have to work on it, and I have lots of examples in my life. Can you remind me that sentence every single day? And that's your show, folks! I want to thank Layla for being my special guest this week. You have been amazing! I, and I will see you at school tomorrow. Woo-woo! Thank you. Be sure to listen to us next week on the Top Berry Show with your host, Top Berry. Yes! Boy! <laughs> Honestly, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Hashtag that's a wrap. <laughs> the Tiberius Show is not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Executive producer, Joseph Boy. Production editor, Pierre Laguerre. Green Room Manager, Danny Boy. Broadcast Associate, James Smith. And your program host, Tiberius Boy. The Tiberius Show is copyright 2018.